What is up guys and welcome to the second episode of my Med Level Bronzeman Mode Progression Series. Let's get straight into it, buckle up and enjoy the adventure. Here we go again guys. I think I'm going to get some uh, cow hides. So I can take them to the desert and get them tanned. Which is really necessary for my grassing grind that I'm going to do. But first, I need to make back some money, because as you remember in the last episode, I got killed for the Revenant loot and the 100k to enter the river caves. So yeah, gonna see what those dragons have for me. First drop has nothing special. Lava staff is actually quite nice. Got myself uh, 29 hit points in. Let's go. Already 43 magic as well. At the moment my combat level is 28. Nothing special but everything helps in the current state actually. Because once I have like a little bit of extra cash, I'm going to start my quest grind as well. I've been postponing it for a little bit now. Yeah, time to see how much money I made this time. Not bad actually, 93k. And uh, this is going to be the end of the first trip. Bank it all up. And I'm on my way back. Let's see if this uh, trip is actually better. Last time I made a little bit more than 93k, so hopefully more this time. And we get... Ah, the javelin drop. This is one of the worst drops in my opinion. Forty-six magic coming in. Not bad. My combat level is also now 30, and 32 hit points coming in strong as well. 47 magic, levels are just flying in here. At the same time, hoping to make big money. Ah, oh, fire rock drop is really nice actually. This was probably the last kill of the trip as well. I might as well just kill one dragon for the dragon bone and green dehyde unlock as well because I'm going to get uh, my prayer levels up eventually and dragon bones are actually perfect for this occasion ok time to bank all the loot I made uh, actually I didn't even check how much money I made the last trip but gonna sell all the stuff I have and I'm pretty sure it's, gonna, it's going to be enough to start my quest grind I think the first quest I'm going to do is going to be vampire slayer easy and also gives nice attack level. My melee stats are pretty low at the moment so I'm not prioritizing them but it's nice to get those easy quest points in and also some fast uh, early levels. Three gnome village done and while I was already there fight arena done as well. 37 attack, 14 thieving and I am combat to level 34. Now it is time to get some crafting levels up as mentioned earlier. I think I'm going to make some leather armor until I can actually cut some jewels because the XP rates are way way better there and it's not so expensive in the early levels anyways. The current goal is 31 crafting and 31 crafting achieved. Time to get some new jewelry as well. Gold bar unlocked. Now it is time to unlock sapphire ring. Emerald ring and also sapphire necklace for ring of recoils, ring of dwelling and gaming necklace. I knew that I actually forgot something so I couldn't make the gaming necklace right now but at least I got the uh, sapphire ring and the emerald ring unlocked so far. Ring of dwelling unlocked. Now it is time to grab uh, extra sapphire then I can make the sapphire necklace, 
then I can enchant my sapphire ring and sapphire necklace to make ring of recoils and gaming necklace accordingly. So got to take some extra water runes from the bank and uh, that's it probably. Yep, let's go. Ring of recoils unlocked. And gaming necklace as well. Since I created myself some new jewelry, it is so much easier to get to the different locations around the map. So now I'm going to do another quest, which will be waterfall quest. Waterfall quest completed. It gave me some nice strength and attack experience, so I got myself a 30 level strength and 41 level attack. Current combat level is 31. Time to kill some more revenants because I think this is the best money maker for me at the moment. Of course, like usually, I forgot to grab a skull again. So for now, I will just do the Mount Skull. I need to make some extra money to get uh, my range level up as well. Uh, currently, I don't have Avis Accumulator unlocked, so training ranged will be a little bit more expensive than it would be usually using Avis Accumulator, but it shouldn't be a too big problem. Yeah, it is better to do Revenants when you have a skull, so just to increase the chance to get better drops. Save some more time. Let's see if the skull actually helped. Hmm. And another goblin killed four coins and eater, so nothing special, even though I have a skull now. Oh, look, <laughs> this guy actually tried to attack me here. I remember what happened last time when someone tried to attack me, so <laughs> I have to be more careful around here. I'm going to try to attack this guy actually. He might be stupid or a noob, so I might get some quick unlocks in. I should have waited a little bit and let him school, but mm, whatever. I'm pretty sure that his fire bolt is actually doing way more DPS than my fire strike. It's just a waste of resources at this point it seems, so I think I'm better off running. Running, running away from the threat. Last kill of the trip and we get some Addy bars, not the first time we get Addy bars as a drop in this series. I like Addy bars, not as much as chocolate bars though. All the loot sold. Time to make some fletching. Time to get some fletching up. I heard some stories about Brimhaven having a nice shop, a general store where you can get a lot of supplies that you need, so... Pestilent Mortar, Charcoal and Papyrus unlocked. Time to do some more questing. Plague City completed. 15 mining. I can finally mine iron. Let's do the biohazard as well, while I'm already in the neighborhood. Biohazard completed. 17 thieving. Since I am finally 15 mining, I can actually do Torix quest next. Going to get some clay, some iron, and some copper as well. Torix quest is one of my favorite quests in old school RuneScape because it's one of the shortest quests in the game. Torix quest completed. 18 mining as well. The next quest in the line is the nice sword. I need to make a red berry cake for that. Uh, to be correct, and red berry pie. Pie dish from the castle kitchen stolen. Unlocked some red berries. While I'm already here, some cut of berries as well and cut myself uncooked red berry pie I'm going to use the long bridge Owen so I have to do the cook's assistant first 
because otherwise the cook won't let me use the oven. Oh shit, burst my first pie but the second one came in clutch. I have my red berry pie, now I can feed it to the hungry four. Got all the quest item requirements in my inventory and the night sword has been completed. Smithing level advanced to 29. Getting the last item requirements for the Tauri strap and then it is time to complete the quest. I'm going to use the quest reward experience on agility because this is the most boring stat to train. One of the most at least. Agility advanced to 26. Tauri strap completed. The Grand Tree completed. Agility level advanced to 32 and attack to 44. It's time to get some wood cutting in. Current goal for wood cutting level is 35 because I need it for the quest. Willow Logs unlocked. Willow Logs unlocked, which is especially useful for fire making. 30 fire making. Rag and Bone Man completed. 16 cooking and 5 prayer advanced. Time for the sea slug. Sea slug completed. 24 fishing advanced. Unfortunately the only fish that they have in stock in this fish shop is sardine. These are my current stats. And I need 15 cooking to cook a trout. But before that, I need to unlock a raw trout first. Raw trout unlocked. Time to cook the trout. Of course, I burn the first one, but the second one unlocks me a cooked trout. Death plateau completed. 45 attack level advanced. This is my current collection log. Just checking if I did get the uh, climbing boots unlock as well. And I did. I need 22 fletching to make iron tarts for my range training. Iron tarts unlock coming in. Let's go. Twenty-five fletching advanced. Now it is time to finally train my arranged. I think the current goal would be to get like at least level 30 arranged. On the way to the sand crabs area where I'm going to train my arranged, I found a farming stall and also cooking supply stall where I got Several items unlocked. I am finally here. This was a long ass adventure. Level 10 ranged advanced. Level 30 ranged advanced. I am done with my range training for now. Now it is time for some action. Let's try Ruined Rocks as our first destination. Come on, let's go. Level 3. Oh, he's already half HP from someone else. I hope the protector won't intervene. Nice, let's see how much it is. 13 Ruinite Ores, let's go, that's our biggest PK at the moment. I hope that the other guy, the protector, will hit me as well. Because if he skulls on me and if I kill him, then I will get his magic shortbow as well. Let's put all the stuff in the looting bag. Wait for the protector to hit me. He doesn't even have protect prayers, so it should be quite easy to kill him. Wait, what? He has 87. He had 87 mining. He was actually a miner as well. Another one. Skald. I can actually get him for his uh, magic shortbow. 63. Ooh, 
40, 60, even 63 ranged. He's going to kill me. Yeah, hopefully he's not following me. Let's get away from here. At the moment it seems that this place is not so active anymore, so I'm going to change the location. Welcome to the Chaos Altar. Maybe I have better luck here. Alright, first guy. Haha, <laughs> close the door right in his face. Suck that. Not so fast, buddy. Come on, stay there. Couple hits more and the kill is mine. And what do we get? Oh, 26 dragon bones. I'm just using the dragon bones I just BK to level up my prayer. Prayer advanced to 25. Let's see how high can I level my prayer through BKing. Let's head to the bank first though. Who's that guy? Ah, oh, he's quite dangerous, I guess. Ah, oh, he doesn't even have a proper coif, but yeah, he looks stupid. But he's hitting me fast. Time to run. Unfortunately, I don't have a level 30 wilderness teleport yet, so yeah. But wh wh what the heck is going on? How can he hit me from so far away? I ran out of run energy as well, like. How is this possible that he's hitting me from so far, like? How? can't even hit from so far away with a longbow. He's using knives from so many tiles away. That's crazy. Must be a glitch or something. Yeah. There goes my stuff. I recognize this place. Let's go to the GE and see how much money I made from BKing and wrap it up for today's episode. If you made it all the way till the end, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.